Hi, welcome to Camera Cravings. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Insta360 ONE X, a camera that's been out for about a year and a half now, which has recently been updated with three things, color plus, audio updates, and stories. And we're gonna talk about each of those things in turn, coming right up. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about these updates and whether they actually improve the camera at all and also how the camera now compares to the GoPro Max with these updates applied. Um, what's interesting is because these are software based updates, uh, you actually apply them to your footage once you've shot your footage. So you can actually apply it to any old footage you've got from the Insta360 ONE X and just re-edit and export the footage with the color plus and audio adjustments um, put onto that footage in the export. So I'll quickly show you how that's done. So the first update is color plus and this can be applied to any existing footage. So let's just take a video that I shot um, Recently mountain biking, testing out the GoPro Max against this camera. And let's just click on that clip. And essentially once you've got your clip and you've got your edits, which obviously I've already done, you go up to export and decide where you want to export it to. And then what you'll find is that you have a new box down in the bottom left hand side which says color plus and it says that when you toggle it on your video colors will appear more vivid but exporting time will increase so straight off the bat there's two things with that you're gonna have a longer export time but also you're not going to be able to see the difference to the footage whether you actually think any particular given shot looks better with color plus on or not until you've actually exported it. So that's a little bit frustrating that they couldn't have somehow made it so you could actually do like a live preview before you export because what we'll talk about in a minute is the fact that this works quite well on some shots but not on everything. So it actually makes the footage look, I would say, a little bit worse on some of the shots. So obviously you would export it like that. So what I'm going to do now is just show you three or four different shots taken in different lighting scenarios, um, mountain biking, skiing, some in, on cloudy days, some on sunny days, just to show you the difference in terms of what Colour Plus does to those shots and how it affects the both the colours but also the blacks and shadow areas of the shot and also the highlights. So. Let's have a look at that now. Okay, so we can see with Color Plus on, when you put the footage side by side, it's definitely raising the overall um, exposure, I think, and particularly in the shadow areas and the blacks. But the negative of that on some of these shots is that the blacks start to, you start to introduce quite a lot of noise into those darker areas which is not particularly helpful. And I think, as you can see, the, the color is improved and more vibrant, and it does make the image pop more, but I think you have to be quite selective with where you use it. So for example, in this shot where we're on a speedboat, you can see the color of the orange on the life jacket just looks a little bit over oversaturated and unnatural and actually the skin tones start to look a little bit unnatural as well. Um, similarly, in this shot where I'm just walking and talking to camera, I think it's just raise the shadow areas a little bit too much where it starts to look a little bit flat and a little bit unnatural. 
And obviously you could correct this and add some contrast back in, but I'm not sure whether it's worth the extra effort of adding your export time and then having to add extra post-processing. So I think in conclusion, my thoughts on Color Plus is that it's a useful update, but not not amazing and I don't think it actually really makes the footage look as good straight out of camera as for example the GoPro Max looks. I think the GoPro Max does a really good job of adding a good amount of vibrancy and contrast without um, ruining the rest of the shot and deals with highlights well and it deals with generally deals with shadows quite well although it does cr crush the blacks a little bit as you can see here on this snowboarding shot i actually really like the original shot i like the dark blue of the sky highlights are dealt with pretty well and i think actually when you look at the new shot i don't think you're really gaining that much it's just lifted everything so you just got a bit less contrast in the snow for example in the shadows and the snow I don't know it just doesn't seem like there's a huge difference really I think it's it's not necessarily reflecting true color if that makes sense similarly the yellows on the poles are kind of just a little bit oversaturated now I don't know see what you think let me know in the comments what you think but overall I think Color Plus is a useful update but nothing to write home about. I think it's up to you whether you use it but on certain shots it's definitely not going to help the shot. I think it's actually going to make it worse overall. So the second update that they have brought relates to audio and just having a quick look at the app again just show you what you see when you're in the app. You need to go to now the settings where you've got all the things relating to like stitching and flow state stabilization all that stuff now you've got an extra one which says um, true audio so with this true audio you've got two new options one is voice focus and one is action focus so the voice focus is supposed to reduce ambient noise and boost your voice and the action focus is again meant to reduce ambient noise and um, essentially it reduces it even more. The other thing I wanted to talk about straight away with this camera is the stabilisation which Insta360 claim to uh, be gimbal like and um, better than the GoPro Hero 7 Hypersmooth. Um, I think it depends on the scenario you've got the camera in as to whether it's as good or better than the GoPro. Filming everything. It's a really peddly one. It's tight it? left hand yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Then you can oh, point later. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
360. Only everything. Really peddly one. Quite left hand yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Okay, so this is a quick test, dual, dual mounted chest mount, quite a bumpy track. Okay, so what did you think of the True Audio update? Please do drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. My personal view is that it's not a massive update to this camera. I think the, um, the voice focus it didn't really do much. I didn't feel like it added much. It actually probably made it sound slightly worse when I was talking to camera. I think the action focus mode does work on wind noise quite well. It's quite effective at cutting that wind noise. The issue being that it cuts through everything, so it cuts the ambient noise too much. And I think actually with the GoPro Max, you're getting the best of both worlds because it's got those extra microphones. It's able to choose between them and cut the wind noise really well. And it was quite clear on that comparison side-by-side -side clip where the cameras are both mounted like on my chest um, next to each other and the wind noise on the, the insta360 was absolutely awful and even in action priority it still wasn't great quality audio whereas the gopro sounded really natural it actually sounded basically what i heard when i was there so it sounded like you had that ambient noise from the bike movement you had me going over the leaves, you, you heard all that, you got a bit of wind noise, but it wasn't wasn't awful sounding wind noise, it was actually quite nice. And yeah, overall, I just think it, it the Insta360 still doesn't compare in audio terms to the GoPro Max. So if it's audio you are mainly interested in and it's really important to you, I would buy the GoPro Max over the Insta360 at this point in time. Um, Insta360 you're obviously about to bring out a new camera, not sure what that's going to be yet, it's due to be announced in the next couple of days, I think on the 7th of January, so watch this space on that one, I'm going to try and do a couple of videos on that. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about lastly is the stories in the Insta360 app which they've just introduced as part of this update and again this is something that I I'm surprised they've waited this long to implement. It really should have been there from day one. Um, it gives you the ability to stitch together a number of different clips. I think you can do up to 10 at a time into a timeline and then edit it um, as if you were editing in um, any other app or um, desktop software. So it gives you quite a powerful feature list on your phone and you can edit in, in each individual clip and then come back out into the timeline add filters, add music, you can um, add transitions between the shots and yeah, it works really well actually. I've done a, just a short one that I'll put at the end of this video, it's like four clips I just from snowboarding last year that I just pieced together quite quickly and yeah, you can see how, how if you spent a bit of time on it you'd actually get a really, really nice result from it. So impressed that Insta360 have finally got that update out and it's good to see that they're still updating this camera given it's like a year and a half old and they're about to bring out a new one but yeah overall i think probably one and a half out of three in terms of the kind of usability and quality of these updates i think the color plus is okay the true audio yeah not so much and then the um the stories is really good so hope you found this helpful 
If you did like the video, please do leave me a like. Please subscribe to the channel for more content. I'm going to be um, doing a review of this uh, KuCam 8K, which is a new 360 camera I've just got. Um, I pre-ordered it, so it's just arrived. And yeah, I'm going to be putting that up against the Insta360 One X and also the GoPro Max. And hopefully I'm going to try and get my hands on the new Insta360 camera once it's released. Um, I'm going snowboarding at the end of January, so I'm going to try and take at least one or two of these cameras with me and see what footage I can get and um, yeah, do some videos about, about that. So please do subscribe and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.